Here is a question for you, why patients with COPD retain carbon dioxide or develops hypercapnia on oxygen therapy? I bet the majority will claim that supplemental oxygen depresses one's hypoxic drive to breathe. In other words, if our oxygen levels are super high, the body will invest less energy in breathing, resulting in hypercapnia or carbon dioxide retention. Makes sense? Unfortunately, this is not the real reason. In fact, our lungs do a phenomenal job of matching ventilation to perfusion at the alveolar level. If areas of the lung are not well ventilated, vasoconstriction will occur in the pulmonary arterioles supplying perfusion to those regions. Blood will instead be shunted to areas of the lung which receive more ventilation. This physiological principle is termed as hypoxic pulmonary vasoconstriction or HPV, and is an intrinsic property of the lung. Now it makes sense, so let's perfuse areas which are ventilated. In patients with COPD, there are long-term alterations in the structure and function of the lungs, which ultimately lead to increased gas exchange and efficiency. As we all know, the lungs of patients with COPD are hyperinflated, which means air gets trapped and takes up space, which can make it harder to get fresh air into your body. Your lungs try to fix this by taking in more and more air, this overinflates or hyperinflates the lungs. When we give supplemental oxygen to COPD patients, more air gets trapped in the dead space, which results in low efficiency of the lungs to wash out carbon dioxide and result in hypercapnia. This process is called VQ mismatch and is primary reason for carbon dioxide retention in patients with COPD. Next, Haldane effect. Carbon dioxide travels through the blood in three different ways. One of these ways is by binding to amino groups, creating carbamino compounds. Amino groups are available for binding at the N-terminals and at the side chains of arginine and lysine residues in hemoglobin. When carbon dioxide binds to these residues, carbaminohemoglobin is formed. This amount of carbaminohemoglobin formed is inversely proportional to the amount of oxygen attached to hemoglobin. Thus, at lower oxygen saturation, more carbaminohemoglobin is formed. These dynamics explain the relative difference in hemoglobin's affinity for carbon dioxide depending on oxygen levels, known as the Haldane effect. Deoxygenated blood picks up CO2 and hydrogen ions which get released when oxygen binds hemoglobin in the alveoli. When supplemental oxygen is provided, imagine the following equilibrium being pushed to the right. The newly released hydrogen ions will shift the bicarbonate buffer to produce more carbon dioxide resulting in hypercapnia. VQ mismatch and the Haldane effect are the two major reasons why patients with COPD tend to retain CO2 when given oxygen therapy. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support us to learn more. Thank you.